Hi everyone! Today I wanted to come here to share my SLG collection. So this encompasses key holders, small compact wallets, card holders, and other pouches that go within a bag, so that sort of thing. I absolutely love purchasing fun designs and patterns with these types of items. And I know a lot of people say that you shouldn't invest your money on all these different SLGs and instead you should put that towards a handbag. But for me personally, I get so much use out of these. I rotate often just depending on the type of bag that I'm carrying around and that sort of thing. So to me, they're really worth it. And in, for handbags, I normally go very neutral in order to get my wear out of those types of bags. But for these ones, I think they're so fun to play with and I really just purchase them for my own enjoyment. And yeah, you don't really see them outside of my handbag, but when I do pull them out, they make me really happy. And again, I can really experiment and purchase fun patterns and colors. So that's what I really enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any questions or want further reviews on any of these items, let me know and I will do my best. So in terms of an order, I think I'm going to go kind of smallest to largest in some sort of fashion. So I'm going to start with key holders. I have this really nice leather key holder from the brand Small Hours. She is an independent uh, artist or a leathersmith in Toronto and this is what I'm currently using for my keys and it also has this hook so you can hook it to other items or you can even hook a key ring to that if you have something bulkier like a key fob of some sort. I have this four key holder from Louis Vuitton. This is in this beautiful vernis leather. It's in the color raspberry and it has the same colored interior in a smooth leather and then it has the four hooks. And then I also have this one. This is a really good key holder. This is actually from the coach outlet in the men's section. Full leather on the outside. It's this nice sturdy grain leather. A really simplistic piece, but it has everything that you would need, including the hooks as well as a snap closure. So you can again stick another key ring in there, whatever you'd like. It also has the back pocket so you can put cards and things like that on the inside. So I used this quite a bit before, but this is a fantastic piece as well. If you're looking for a, a more affordable key holder, I think this was about, I think I got it for around $35 or so, and it's still available in the Coach Outlet. This one is a very old piece. This is a old style Coach Mini Skinny ID. They still sell things under this name, but uh, they don't look like this anymore. This had a really cute uh, chain that you could unhook and put around your wrist if you needed has a nice pocket for coins and cash, and then also the back ID wallet as well as a card slot. I only have two card holders left right now that I've kept. This one is a beautiful, beautiful full leather coach card holder in this wonderful kind of teal colored leather, and it actually has a gold sheen to it in real life. Uh, it's hard to see on camera, but in person, it's really nice. And uh, there's also, this wonderful deeper blue interior. So probably one of my favorites to use. And I also have this card holder. This is from Gucci and I loved the gold B motifs on this. So I was really happy to have that. Otherwise it's kind of that uh, leather on the main pocket there. And it has like a nylon interior. Now getting to more compact wallets. This is a current wallet I'm using right now. This is from Burberry and I love this kind of shimmer check effect. It has beautiful piping detailing on the edges and it's in this beautiful metallic leather. Again, for me, I really like if it's going to fold over to have the snap button there. And it has a nice ID section. It's gusseted as well, so you can easily stick folded cash and cards in the slot as well in there as well. This is a card case wallet from Gucci and this is this is from the I think 2017 collection. This is the Bengal Tiger coated canvas print and the inside uh, has of course this brown leather and a coin compartment as well as a full bill slot as well. One of my favorite and my most expensive piece is this Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. I purchased this at the beginning of last year and I 
just absolutely fell in love with the patterning of this. It is inspired by architecture and design and I loved the fact that it had silver hardware but I thought this was just so beautiful and the fact that this is actually full leather. So this is not coated canvas, this is actually printed uh, leather and I just love the effect of the monogram pattern and again just a great compact wallet. This beautiful buttery yellow color has a full bill compartment, also a coin slot here. This piece is made in France. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. This one is a really nice Marc Jacobs bifold wallet. I don't remember the actual name of it. It's in this pebbled purple leather and has a standard coin compartment on the back and then it folds out. It's a matching purple smooth leather on the inside, but it has a really nice bill compartment here and card slots. And I've used this many times just locally, but uh, this is now going to be my travel wallet. It fits everything in terms of what I need for a travel wallet, but it's also really compact. So that is kind of what I'm planning and hopefully we can travel soon. I actually have an older, so this is my oldest coach piece that I have, the oldest item that I have uh, in terms of FSLGs. This is a really old coach trifold wallet. And this for the longest time was my travel wallet. It fits cash really well so there's a coin compartment here and it's beautiful it's this wonderful burnt orange color on the outside and of course as you saw with the coin compartment as well has this bright pink fuchsia leather on the inside lots of card slots everywhere as well and this rainbow kind of plaid or check interior so this is really nicely made and one of my favorites but it has a lot of where you can see the markings of where the button is. It also has some wide watermarks and some scratches. So I'm kind of retiring this from use, but uh, still going to be in my collection forever. This is a wonderful deep forced green colored wallet from Coach. This is a foldover flap wallet, I believe. I'm not sure what the exact name is. It has the slot on the back and just a really nice subtle gunmetal uh, button. And then it has this brighter teal blue color on the inside. Nice gusseted section here. You can put uh, folded, folded cash and of course the slot for coins and cards. And then this, it kind of looks like Bottega Veneta. It is not. Uh, this is a lovely woven kind of pouch from Casey Jagger. And I picked this up years ago from Winners and it just has the uh, gold hardware. Uh, nothing fancy about it, but it's I think really well made and uh, I do keep any just spare loyalty cards and other things in here. This is one of my favorites. This is a little coin purse or coin pouch from Longchamp. It's in this or dusty pink color and this actually fits quite a bit of stuff and in my mini bags and other bags I like to stick just uh, a couple knickknacks like essentials and things like that. This one I've also done a video on. This is a Coach outlet piece and this is a little makeup pouch. It's super cute and coated canvas and I really like this. It fits a ton of stuff. So I highly re would recommend if you're interested in this. I've also shared this in a What's in My Bag. This is by a designer artist uh, in Toronto and well, the brand name is Buku. And yeah, it's just fantastic, handmade in Toronto, hand printed, designed everything. And I have a bunch of other larger pouches as well as actually a, a bag from her. So I really, really like her work. This is the only L-zip wall or L-zip wristlet that I have from Coach. This is an outlet piece and it was their first Pac-Man collection, I think. And it's just in this beautiful bright orange red color, it has the cherry motif as well. And I actually use this as a passport holder. It fits a passport perfectly, as you can see. And of course, it, it, with the zip, it really keeps the passport safe, which is the whole point of it. And it also has card slots within the wristlet. So this is perfect for sticking in any travel related cards. So that's what I use it for. And it's also great because if you have any other items, like if you have other tickets or things, you can just easily throw them in and then zip it up and it'll be safe and uh, you'll know where it is. So 
I actually highly recommend if you're looking for some sort of passport holder, uh, these little L-slip wristlets are really great. And lastly, kind of my largest piece is this long shop pouch. This is from the LGV collection and I really just loved this design. I loved the coloring of this like khaki color and the bright accented zipper pull and the matte, um, the matte hardware, the matte black hardware. So I really wanted to pick up something from this collection. And yeah, so I went with this and this goes in my large bags to help organize my items. So that's kind of all it goes for. And it has lots of space in there. So I usually fit like my wallet. I can stick a phone in there, all that sort of thing. And it just helps organize my larger bags. But yeah, this is great. And I would recommend if you're also looking at uh, something that's durable and fuss free for a larger organizational pouch. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions or want an additional video reviewing any of the items I showed today, leave a comment and I will do my best to do a video on them. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.